Hello everyone, welcome back to NoTech. In this video, we can see how to do the enrollment setup for using Selenium and C Sharp and also how to launch different web browsers like Google Chrome, Firefox and Edge using Selenium and C Sharp. Let's get started. Here the programming language used is C Sharp and the IDE that is Integrated Development Enrollment we are going to use is Visual Studio Code and the framework is Selenium. So these are the websites where we can download the required softwares. So we need to download Visual Studio Code and .NET Core SDK and we need to install this C Sharp extension for Visual Studio Code from the Visual Studio Code software itself. And then we need to add the Selenium WebDriver package using a command. Also we, need, we can add one more optional package WebDriver Manager package if required. And let's see the steps we need to do. First we need to open the Visual Studio Code software and then we need to create a new folder for your project. Then from the Visual Studio Code application we need to open that folder. From file open folder. Then we need to initialize a new .NET Core project. From, for that we need to open the terminal from view menu and then we need to select terminal. And then we need to use this command .NET new console to initialize a new .NET Core project. And then we need to add the Selenium WebDriver package by using the .NET add package selenium.webdriver command. Also this is the command .NET add package webdriver manager .NET. This is the optional package. So if you want to automatically manage the browser driver executables, we can install the install this package. Now let's see how to write the script. First let's download the .NET 7.0 SDK. Once it is downloaded, we need to install the .NET Core. Open that installer file and click on the install button. First, let's open the Visual Studio Code software. Then we need to create a new folder, new project folder. So I am creating a new folder inside this Selenium C Sharp folder. The folder name is Selenium Automation. Now from this Visual Studio Code software, we need to open that folder. Select this folder. Now go to Terminal and select New Terminal. So this is our path. So here we need to run this command .NET New Console Use Program Main. So copy this command and paste here. Now press enter. So the project template will be created. Now open this program.cs file so you can see the template. Now so here you will get a message required assets to build and debug are missing from Selenium automation. Add them and select yes from here. Okay, now we need to add the Selenium WebDriver package. So this is the command to add the WebDriver package. So again go to Visual Studio Code, copy that command and uh, enter a press enter. Now we have added the Selenium WebDriver package also. Now we can write the script how to launch the Google Chrome browser. So we no need this line. This is a sample program. Command this line. Now, now let's write the script. So first we need to uh, give the Chrome driver path since we are launching the Chrome browser. So the syntax is system dot 
environment dot set environment variable so here we need to give the chrome driver path so web driver dot chrome dot driver comma in, again inside double quotes we need to copy the chrome driver path so our chrome driver is in this path chrome driver dot exe so copy this path and add the driver file name also we need to add two slashes same as in selenium java now here in the end we need to put a semicolon and then we need to launch the browser so for that we need to write in selenium java we used to write web driver driver equal to new chrome driver so here we need to write i web driver i web driver driver equal to new chrome driver so here we are it's showing two errors so mouse over near to this i web driver so here you can click this quick fix so this will import this driver using open qa rename again we need to mouse over to this chrome driver and import the chrome driver so here also we need to select quick fix and select this one use open qa dot selenium dot chrome now this will launch the chrome browser and now we need to open the web page so for that call this object driver dot navigate to and go to url so inside this bracket we need to mention the url of the web page https www.google.co.in now let's run the script so for that go to the terminal and type the command dot net run so one semicolon is missing so here we need to put a semicolon and now let's run this uh, command again dot net run so the web page is opened but there is an error so i added one additional w okay let's run the script again now the web page is launched now we can install one more package to avoid this system dot environment variable line so i already mentioned in the video so there is an optional package dot net add package web driver manager so let's see so the package is installed now i am commanding this line but still the program will work again type dot net run so going forward since we installed this web driver package we no need to run this line of code so it will automatically open the browser now if you want to launch the web page using firefox driver we need to just change this chrome to firefox and it will show an error message so hover your mouse near to the firefox driver and select quick fix and then select using open qa dot selenium dot firefox now let's run the script now the web page is open through firefox so similarly we can launch the web page through edge browser also so for that change this firefox to edge driver and also go near to edge driver select quick fix 
and then select this open qa dot selenium dot edge now again run the script now the web page is open through edge browser hope you understand this if you have any clarification please mention in the comments please like this video and subscribe to notech thank you